hey hey guys welcome back to my channel okay so guys you remember the okaze we caught last weekend we are going to use it to make this delicious okaze soup oh my goodness guys if you test this soup oh young me this soup is so nice so guys relax and let me show you how we make this delicious okaze soup okay all right okay guys so here are the ingredients for the okaze soup this is the fresh okaze itself this is my washed and clean cow head meat you can use any meat of your choice this is the stock fish here's my salt this is cut fish dried cut fish and another kind of fish panla fish i'll tell you guys how i got this cut fish it's so made this is my isam. I wonder how my life would be if I cook soup without isam. <laughs> this is my seasoning. Okay, this is my grounded crayfish. All right, here is my thickener. I'm using offal. You can use any thickener of your choice. Okay, and here is my dry grounded pepper. Okay, also you can use fresh pepper if you want. This is iru low cost beans. All right, so as always, you can take out any ingredient here that doesn't work for you, okay? You, or better still, you can substitute, all right? Okay, so moving on, I'm just adding the stockfish to this pot. Pour some boiled water and cover it to cook, okay? In another pot, I'm adding the washed um, cow head meat. Again, pour boiled water and cook add some seasoning and then cover it to cook okay so i'll tell you guys in a couple of minutes why i'm cooking why i'm boiling the meat and the fish separately normally i'm supposed to boil them together because they have almost the same cooking time but like i said i'll tell you guys why i have to boil them separately okay all right all right at this point the meat is done the way i want it so i'm just going to pour that out okay and then transfer the stock fish to the to the bigger pot okay add more water and then cover it to cook for a couple of minutes okay and then i add some red oil okay after the red oil i will add the thickener guys the reason for adding the red oil and the thickener most sometimes because the red oil and salt i'm adding salt right now it helps the thickener to dissolve very fast okay that is the trick so i'll stir that very well and cover it to cook okay so after the thickener has dissolved i'm just going ahead to add the fish cover it to cook for about two minutes okay then i come back and add the periwinkle is some add crayfish add the pepper then add the remaining seasoning okay give it a good stir make sure everything is well combined taste for salt okay and then cover to cook okay so after everything has cooked for about another two minutes i add the locust beans <laughs> Finally, I add the akazi leaf, guys. And then I give it a good stir. And don't forget that till this point, we've not added the meat, okay? So now let's go to that part. So finally, I am going to share this soup into two, okay? I'll take out a reasonable quantity because i have an august visitor in the house reverend sister is in the house and she doesn't eat meat if you remember one of the videos i shared when we went for shopping for my mom's funeral you see the way she reacted when she saw where they sell meat <laughs> sister and meat are like ukraine and russia they're not a waka one road though lie lie <laughs> okay so I'll scoop out her own soup and then add the meat to our own because me and my help, we will eat meat. <laughs> okay, so after adding the meat, give it a stir and the soup is ready. Okay. 
so thank you guys so very much for watching thank you for your support i love you guys and i will see you all by next weekend okay